Perry dropped out. How does that affect you? Not a whole lot. Uh, a lot of people think, well, you know, his, his numbers kept going down. He didn't have any votes to pass on. I don't think you can pass your votes on anyway. And I think they're going to be distributed to the various candidates, and they probably have already. It, just because he endorsed G Gingrich, that doesn't mean that Gingrich is going to get all those votes. And I think I'll get some of those votes. You know, uh, people, you know, uh, saw him as a fellow Texan, and and uh, I I just think that I will get some of those votes. I but, think you will too. So I think um, uh, we'll have to see because I think it was hard to predict what would happen when Kane got out. But our sh our polling showed that we jumped a bit after Kane got out, and we picked some up some of those votes. Talking about Kane and uh, taxes. Uh, which was his big issue. I mean, he came out with a major plan, whether it worked or not. What is your major plan on taxes? How are you going to change the tax system? What's the big plan? Well, I try to get people to think of spending as a tax because once the government spends money, they're going to tax you whatever. They're going to give you a direct tax, they're going to borrow the money or they'll print the money, and all is a tax on the people. So spending is the issue. But if you want to look at the tax code, the simpler the better. The well, what do we do specifically? Well, can, can I pin you down? Uh, I mean, my goal is to get rid of the income tax. You know, I don't think we need an income tax. We didn't have it up until 1913. But you have to change. We, we all have to change our attitude about what the government should be doing. If we want the government to run a welfare state and police the world, you're going to have to have an income tax and a lot more, and you're still going to have to a lot of print money and borrow money. But, uh, no, I, the simpler the better. Anything will get it down. My promise in my district over the many years has always been I will never vote to raise your taxes. I will always vote to lower your taxes, and I will always do whatever I can to uh, simplify the system and undermine the IRS. Of the remaining people in this race, we have Romney, we have uh, Santorum, and obviously we, we have Newt Gingrich who seems to be surging. Who do you think comes closest to your viewpoint on the debt ceiling and monetary policy in general? Well, I don't think anybody's anywhere close because I think they're all together. I don't see a whole lot of difference, uh, you know, among the other ones. Even when it began, I used to say that the other six, the other seven at times, uh, they, they represent, as far as I'm concerned, a status quo. Uh, over the years, they have not voted to cut spending. They're not asking for real cuts right now. They don't want to revamp, you know, the monetary system. They don't want to bring our troops home and stop mm -hmm. these wars. So they're all, from my view, personalities are different and maybe their emphasis are different. But philosophically, they're all in the same camp. Doesn't one come a little closer? I've been looking, but no, I don't think so. Maybe on one issue, too. But Who, uh, who would that be? Well, probably uh, Gary Johnson. <laughs> 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 no, they, they're not close enough to, to pretend that they're different. I think that would be misleading.